Welcome back, everybody, to No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, I think we are going to go ahead and pick up uh, with the main quest line and get back on that for a little while. So let's go ahead and hop into our ship here. Um, I have been out of town for uh, most of all of last week. Um, and so that's uh, the main reason why it's been a while since I've gotten a, an episode out. Um, we have... We have an incoming transmission. I'm sorry for contacting you so late or early. I don't know the time of day on your world, and that's because it the problem, isn't it? I... Okay. Apollo breaks off mid-sentence. Their heart... Their heart turning crimson? I guess the thing in the middle of their chest. Um, ask if they're all right. It found me, just... Is it just like it found you? I can't feel my legs. It's strange. I'm still in here. Don't you understand? It won't let me leave. It's cause it it's seen me. Uh, what do you see? It showed me things. The atlas showed me my soul. The numbers in there. I cause it. Sometimes I think about my past, my future. Sometimes cause it. I do cause it. What everyone in the universe does. I know. But I can't help but want to be happy. Money, doing what you're told, day after day, that's the answer, isn't it? I don't know. Apollo stares at me as if seeing my face for the first time. Eventually they speak, their words passionate. Higher. Some gibberish I can't understand. At this point, Apollo says nothing else but something. I don't know what. Something fills me with hope, both for my friend and for all life. And communication. Okay, that was, um, really weird. <laughs> Let's go ahead and scan this planet. This is the planet of Zumat. It's a Hemio planet. Cold. How about this one? Oh, I'm gonna have to redo that. That's an arid planet. Really? Doesn't look like an arid planet. Alright, um, uh, so, yeah, I gotta... I gotta get my head back in the game. It's been a little while since I've played. Uh, on, I, I did do a live stream a couple Saturdays ago on multiplayer, but I haven't played the single player game for a little longer than that. So that's why I think it's probably a good idea for us to just get back into the storyline at this point. So if we go to log and we choose patterns in time, we need to speak to a Gek cartographer. Alright, so that being the case then, let's actually go back into the space station and we'll use the terminus to go back to the system that they want us to go in. And proceed with the storyline. At some point, I'm gonna have to uh, go through and do all the fleet stuff too. So let's head over here. All right, so let's see. Space stations. Oh. So, do they not want us to go to a specific... Oh, you know what? I'll bet we do have to go to a specific system, but we haven't discovered it yet. So that means we're going to have to do a warp jump. Is it the mi wait a minute, what? Okay, hold on. Is it the mission? Okay, let me look at this again. What does it say? Speak okay, we already spoke to a GEC cartographer. Complete contracts for the GEC. Alright, that's right. We gotta they they're suckering us into doing missions for them before they give us the information we need. I remember that now. All right, well, let's talk to this dude. Thin the herd, kill 12 creatures, take a photo on a toxic world, collect 250 chromatic metal, kill 12 creatures. Ooh, this will give us a salvage frigate module. 
Why is this one red? Probably because we don't have enough rep with him yet. I'm going to do this one because I want the salvage frigate module. Um, kill 12 creatures. Only at first spawn society required rank. Okay, start mission. Right, okay, so we get the salvage frigate module and we get the standing. Okay. Oh, can we take more than one? Take photo on this toxic world. Collect 250 chromatic metal. That one's going to be easy peasy lemon squeezy. Um, kill 12 more creatures. Okay. And take a photo on a toxic world. Sure, why not? Start mission. Okay. So these all have to be completed from this system, I guess. Um, this is the system we're in, right? Right now, uh, discoveries. We are in the Zookachid system. Oh, okay. I was going to say, what happened to the other ones? Okay. Well, then, yeah, let's go kill some innocent creatures. Not my idea, but that's what it, what it wants us to do. Target outside local system. Assault Galaxy Mac. Oh, so it's not in this system. Okay. Let's take a look and see exactly where we are. Oh, okay, so we're way down in the south western ish part of the galaxy. I think that's where we started from, isn't it? Okay, so how do I know? Which system we're supposed to go to to do this quest? That's Zookachid. Oh, okay, that's the one they want us to take the picture at. I see, okay. Where is the one they want us to murder innocent animals at? Go here again. Take landscape photo, taste of mordite, thin the herd. I thought I had already activated that. Oh, is it? I think it is here because it's got the, the little quest icon thingy. Right? Zookchid. That's where we're at. Then why did we get a message saying it's in a different system? Um. I'm a little corn fuzzled here. If we look around, do we see the red uh, mission icon on any of these planets here? Well, it's not even showing up on our compass, though, either. Is that our frigate? Our freighter, rather? That's a cool looking freighter, man.
did they did they already come out with um the update that changed the stations and does that change the freighters too here let's let's just go look at this really quick because this is a very unique looking freighter And let's see, it is a Class B. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I'm not really interested in a Class B. Let's do a scan on this planet. That's an abandoned planet. Okay, well, um, thin the herd, look for red and green dots in the analysis measure to locate creatures. Can we do this anywhere or do we have to do it in a specific place? Um, thin the herd. Locate creatures on a planet's surface. The client is concerned that creature overpopulation is harming local plant life. Delicate leaves and juicy succulent stems are being wantonly trampled that will reward any enterprising hunters who help thin the herd. Okay, so that seems to suggest we can do that on any planet. Um, let's go to this arid planet. Oh, we're too close. Unless I miss my guess, it looks like there's a lot of water on this arid planet. Just saying. Seems a little odd. Okay. It's dangerously hot. Do we have our... Incoming storm. Of course there's an incoming storm. Um, do we have our heat stuff on? Yes, we do. Okay. Uh, this needs to be recharged, though. So let's do that. The rest of them are good. Okay, so... Um, I guess we'll just wait this storm out, and then when it's over... We'll hop out and go kill some innocent creatures. Okay, so the storm is clearing up. Let's head on out here. And we got a tentacle creature over here. Oh, he's kind of tough. Um... we get him? I think so. Yeah, we got him. Okay. Um, we should have probably actually scanned him before we killed him, actually. That no, wasn't very smart. There we go. Those thingies. Okay, we took him out. There's something. Sorry, mushroom dude. There's some stuff over that way. Here, let's check this out. Nope. 
Kitchener Knights. We got it. I think that's it right here. That guy's hard to hit. Where'd he go? Is he stuck in the water? Oh, there he is. I can't even see him to hit him. Here, let's switch to our uh, shotgun here. That might help. Where'd he go? Oh, there's that tentacle guy again. We can get him. We got a scan on him. Oh, we must have already scanned him. We have to kill uh, seven different species of animals or just seven animals? Did we get it? Uh-uh. Man, those things are hard to, to get. Oh, uh, maybe we can't shoot at them when they're under the ground. <laughs> this is tough. I might be able to kill some underwater critters. Alright, where are we at with this? Thin the herd. Do we know what our progress is? Four of twelve. Okay. So I, I think that probably means we do have to kill different species and not just twelve of any kind of animal. That's not easy to do. Is there another critter down here? There's something over there. Okay, so we got him. And we got him. It's really hard to shoot these fish in the schools here. Okay. So where does that put us now? Um, 
Then the herd. Six out of twelve. Okay, we're halfway there. We could probably go to a different planet, too. We probably don't have to do them all here. I think we already killed that guy once. So we'll kill him again. Brutal. These guys are just too much of a pain in the butt to try and kill. Alright, where's my ship at? Back over this way. Oh, look at this. Nice. Okay, we get them all? I think so. Okay, well, let's go back to our ship and try a different planet. It's too big of a pain in the butt to try and kill all these guys on this planet. We'll get out into space here a little bit so we can look around. There we go. All right, I guess we'll go to the ice planet because we're probably not going to see it many, if any, creatures at all on the abandoned uh, planet. And there's our first victim. Oh, brutal. Here, scan first, and then murder. Ah, oh, screw the drones. Can we scan you? They're angry. He's new. Okay. Um, how are we doing on this quest? Return to the mission agent to find. Okay, so we we have the Mordite one taken care of. Oh, it looks like we're done with thin the herd as well. Okay, good. So we got those taken out of the way. Now we need to take a photo. I thought it was on a toxic planet. We just target planet. Okay, so this one does have a target planet, and we saw that in the in the galaxy map. Okay, let's head on back over. Lifeless planet. That might be where we gotta go there. I don't see, um, incandescent planet. <clears throat> That's probably irradiated. I don't see, like, the, f the camera icon thingy in here, though. That's too far away. What about this one here? Temperate planet. Ooh. We might have to take a look at that one. Okay, well, let's go... Let's go over to this one and scan it. I think this is the right system, isn't it? Terraforming Catastrophe. I don't think that's going to be a toxic planet either. What was this one again? Incandescent. Okay. Um. Oh, is there another planet on the other side of that thing? Yeah, there is. Okay. 
Well, I'll tell you what, let's go to the space station first and do the usual. We're continuing to work on our tech slots. And we'll take a look at the weapon. That's a B-class. Okay, not interested. Um, I want to take a look at this temperate planet. Let's also move towards this one. Oh, we already did that. That's the terraforming catastrophe planet. Okay. Now, didn't, we saw one that was kind of beyond this planet too, right? Zazelite. Or Zazelite. Free landing. Alright, so it's got kind of a lavender colored terrain. This field enclave. What does this have to say about the place? It's got wild, uh, wild, mild weather, frequent signals, frequent flora, and full fauna. There's four, uh, 14 different types of fauna. Hmm. Let's scan this guy. Half a mil right there. It's okay. It's not super floating my boat, though, to be honest with you. It's an interesting looking something or other. All right. This is a uh, an unobservatory. Already got all those guys. Okay, let's continue on. We need to find this toxic planet that we have to take the photo on. Undetected. Yeah, whatever. Alright, give me some shields back. Combat in this game is so easy compared to X... X4. Uh, by the way, if you guys didn't already know this, I am... Uh, I've started a new series on X4 Foundations and have really been enjoying uh, playing that game. So come check it out if you haven't already. It is a space simulator, but it's way more involved than this game. And I'm not knocking this game. This game is a wonderful, amazing, and fun, and chill game. But it's 
very fantasy, whereas X is a lot more, well, I don't know that I would say it's realistic, but it's a lot more technical and a lot more to it. In some ways, it's realistic. Okay, so if we get over here, that's the tropical planet we, or not tropical, but the, that's the lifeless. No. This is the lifeless. That's the temperate. This is the terraforming catastrophe. I mean, I guess that could be toxic. Oh, what's this? Maybe that's what we're looking for. Yep, acidic planet. That's where we need to go. Okay, so we just gotta go here and take a picture. Let's land on this little island here. And we should have our toxic protection stuff here. We do, that needs to be charged. Rhino beetles. Yeah, yeah, you already said that. Thank you. Okay, so let's go into photo mode and take a picture. There we go. That hopefully will. Yep, objective complete. Cool. Return to the mission agent. Okay, so the mission agent is back where? Here, right? Yeah, because this is where we were. No, that's where we are right now. I think we can, did. We, did we come from this Azuka Chide place? Yeah, I think so. I think that's why there's a couple of animal paw thingies there. Oh, we got a freighter battle. Okay, let's do it. care of the battle and yeah, we should get the message to come aboard this is uh, one of the battleship ships it's one of the smaller battleships but well, let's just see what um, class it is It is an A-class, okay? So it's a 3320. We'll do a little comparison. Uh, inspect freighter. Compare. Um, okay, so we have 1819 slots. Um, this has 33 slots. So it's got more cargo slots already. And it looks like it has 
two more tech slots too. It's going to cost us 191 million to swap this over. Um, if we Does it give us a chance to swap stuff over from our current ship? I think it, I think it does. Um, if we go exchange, I think it'll give us an option to swap some stuff over. I I think. What happens when we do this? Yes. Okay, transfer items. Warning, inventory is not transferred when ch exchanging ships. Transfer items to the new ship before completing exchange. Transfer items to the new ship. Proceed with exchange anyway? Okay. So, how... Okay, oh, cargo, right, okay. Gotcha. Um, we're supposed to be able to copy our base over, too. Now, can I... I think I'm... I think for this stuff, I'd have to disassemble it. And just we'll just have to remake it. Oh, no, it doesn't let me disassemble it. So we'll just have to remake these items. That won't be that big of a deal to do that. Okay, so... Yeah, uh, let's go exchange. Wait, what? Transfer items from ship to freighter. Um... So the... So this is ours now, but weren't we... I thought there was an option that lets us, let us copy our base over. It was supposed to ask us that... I don't even know what this means. Huh, okay, I don't, um, I don't know why that didn't pop up. There should have been another message that said, do you want to copy your existing base over to this ship? And I, I didn't see that. Oh, it's got a planetary probe and a, some stuff. What's this? Just some decoration, I guess. Um, well, crap. Now what do I do? <laughs> I mean, we didn't lose any of our inventory, but we will have to expend resources to... to recreate everything as far as the rooms go. We still have the same fleet, right? Yeah, okay. So we have all of this. That's kind of a, a cool view. Oh, it doesn't let us see it for long enough. Well, all right. What, what would happen if we reload the game... The restore point, I guess, um, which, which is when we would have hopped out of our ship. I don't know what the autosave is. Let's, let's reload the restore point. Because I did this once before 
on a, on a, uh, a test save, not on, you know, not on this save. And it gave me the option. Do you want to copy your current base over to the new ship? Uh oh, did it not? Oh no, you know what? Did it overwrite the... If it did, we're screwed. <laughs> we're stuck with this. Um, And I, I mean, it's not the end of the world because it's not going to be that expensive for us to rebuild all those rooms, but I'd rather not. And... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're we're host. I I thought we could reload from our ship. Um Rename current save. If we Ah, oh, shoot. Okay. I mean, I, I have, I'm, sh I'm sure I have an older save, but then we'd have to re, we'd have to do everything all over again, which I kind of don't feel like doing, to be honest with you. So, I don't know, yeah, I, it's those kinds of things about this game that are really frustrating. They should make this process more straightforward. Um... And I can't, again, I can't explain why it didn't pop up and say, hey, do you want to just copy your existing base over? Uh, somehow or another, I didn't do something in the right order or whatever, and, well, we got screwed. So I guess I'm going to have to spend some time redoing our base on this ship. Um, we, do, uh, we do have our inventory, so that's good. And I was expecting that we'd have to rebuild all this stuff anyways. I wouldn't have um, I wouldn't have gotten this ship, but it it it's already better. I, I would have preferred the, you know one of the larger ones, but this one's already better than you know what we had. Um, so that's why I did it. So okay, well, let's um, let's see where are we at. Let's let's go turn these turn these missions back in, and then. Uh, we're going to need to wrap up this episode. That's a Class C solar ship. I think this is the guy we turned the missions into, right? Mission agent. Mission complete. And in mission. Tourist booty, beauty. And in mission. Taste of Mordite. And in mission, uh, we didn't get uh, we didn't get the chromatic metal for that one. Kill six sentinels. Kill tw what's what's up with these guys wanting me to kill all these poor creatures? Ooh, exosuit expansion. Okay, just seems weird that so many of these are just go kill animals. Okay, um, do I have? Any chromatic metal in my starship inventory. It does not look like it. And we currently don't have access to our freighter stuff because I gotta rebuild everything now. Objective complete, patterns in time, complete contracts for the GEC. Oh, okay. So, are we back on the main storyline now? Let's go to log. Speak to a Gek cartographer. You mean like this one here? Ah, you have been making me rich, friend. I know you, your kind. The fearless adventurer, the completer of contracts. You think you are a leader. Others fight wars with weapons and fear, but power is more than strength. It is trade, incentives, information. If you have enough units, others will change the world for you without even realizing. Ask about Gek history. Ask about power. Ask about greed. Yeah, what's up with you guys' greed? Greed? No, I wouldn't say that we were... 
Something is wrong with the Gex voice. Ask about the first spawn. I ask about the first spawn, the Gek Empire that once decimated galaxies and enslaved the Korvac species. Ah, uh, friend, you have been talking to Viking warriors, yes? Ever they hate Gek, ever they slander us, refusing to forgive the past. Do not worry, all is well, all is at peace. Um. Uh, repeat the question. Why do you persist, friend? The Gek are different now. The Gek seek no gazette harm, no malice. The Gek changed. Ask how they've changed. Must you know? Why do you care, friend? The Gek seems disturbed by my questions, asking why I care. It is clear they do not wish to discuss the events of their species past. Is it shame I see in their eyes or something else? Say the Kovac Korvax care. Um... Okay. Don't, don't, because it, you understand. Don't, because it, see it? It never ended. The Gek's face begins to twitch as they speak, a sickly sweet pheromone emerging into the air. Uh, try to resist it. I try to hold my breath, but it's too late. The Gek did not change. They, because it, invaded our souls. I blink and I am on... Valoran itself, homeworld of the Gek. I stand within the center of the first spawn empire, witnessing events that occurred long ago. Cartographer Got uh, Gatato stands next to me, watching what I watch, tears streaming down their face. I see enslaved Korvax move from Gek's spawning pool to spawning pool. At each one, they cut into their own suits. Nanite clusters pull out, falling into the fluid of embryonic Gek. It is then that I finally understand the fall of the Gek, their conversion to the Atlas the release of the Korvax. It was not redemption, it was revolution. Hundreds of Korvax sacrificing their immortality, mingling their nanite clusters with the unborn Gek. The Gek did not become good, they became Korvax, at least in part. Their slaves altered Gek brains, shifting their nature. For the first and final time, the Korvax convergence delighted in the pain of the oppressor. Uh, I don't know if they deserve it or not, so we're going to tell them to be free. The Gek stares at me, the vision coming to an end. They appear to be upset at my words. Do not judge us, Traveler. That I didn't judge you. That our ancestors were altered, what they did, that they did not find goodness by themselves. That has nothing to do with us. We just want peaceful lives. We just want to be happy. You know, and I'm okay with that. I mean, as long as... I, I don't... I'm not going to blame you for the sins of your ancestors. As long as you're a good person, that's all that matters. Okay. As I leave, I think through what I have learned. The Gek released the Korvax because their biology was altered. There was no spiritual revelation, no grand redemption. It was a switch in the brain, an alteration to a genetic code. I think of the simulation Nada showed me, their intended heaven for Artemis' soul. It was a false reality full of arbitrary and unseen rules. How is life any different? Those are some deep questions, man. Okay. Patterns in time, objective completed. I can't get the thingy there. Well, maybe we already got it earlier. 1616, speak to Noel about something or something or other. All right, guys. Um, oh, look at that. Nice, we got our salvage frigate module. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and wrap up the episode here, and then um, I will probably spend some time off camera Resetting up our new freighter. I'm still a little bit miffed that it, the damn game didn't give us the option to just switch everything over, but it didn't for whatever reason. And maybe it's my fault, but what isn't my fault is that the game doesn't make that process more clear and more smooth. Um, and that's the fault of Sean Murray and and team. Not that I'm knocking Sean Murray and team. I love the, love the game, love what they're doing with it, but that's just one area of it that's a little irritating so anyway with that being said um i will we'll start the next episode after probably after i get that freighter set up or at least mostly set up and then we'll go from there so thanks everybody for watching i hope you guys enjoyed the episode if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment and share the video and we'll catch y'all in the next episode Bye bye